It was once the stuff of science fiction. Now cryotechnology is being used to save critically endangered plants. It's kind of like imagining Han Solo from Star Wars coming out of, you know, carbon freezing, uh, but doing it for plants. The Gossia gonoclada is only found in southeast Queensland, with 380 trees believed to be left in the wild. A fungal disease known as myrtle rust is impacting numbers. So too rising temperatures and land clearing. Now scientists at the University of Queensland have turned to cryopreservation. The idea is to store, to safeguard this species by storing the healthy regenerable plant tissues so that one day they can be used to grow a new plant in case the species extinct in the wild. They've spent three years perfecting the technique which keeps the tissue in liquid nitrogen at negative 196 degrees. The challenging part for cryopreservation is that you have to develop a protocol for different things every time differently. The tree is named after former Queensland Premier Wayne Goss and is found mostly here in Logan. The local council has also jumped on board to do what it can to save the species. And that's including sort of monitoring the health, the status against threats like myrtle rust, doing habitat mapping. Researchers have successfully grown new trees out of regenerated frozen tissue. Jingyin's been successful in achieving 100% regeneration rate for cryopreservation of Gossia fragrantissima, which is a related species to Gossia gonoclada. And that's quite unheard of. Giving the tree a future. Toby Loftus, ABC News, Logan.